Yo, what's up guys? Whew, a little brisk in here, not too bad. Doing another uh, Dobbins video here. Uh, if you saw my last one, it was what is the best jerkbait rods. That's right, jerkbait rods. I've been shooting a bunch of videos. From Dobbins, it was a 704, 705CB. That's what I use. This one's gonna be what are the best frog rods, in my opinion, in the Dobbins lineup. And to start off, I've got two rods coming from the Champion Series. Actually, I've got three, but one doesn't exist, so it's gonna be two rods. Start off with the lighter stuff. Uh, this is gonna be the Dobbins Champion 735C. This is the XP. I've got it paired with a JDM Daiwa SSSV. It's a eight one to one gear ratio, super light reel, trick dial, carbon handle, knobs, uh, polished bearings, all that stuff, upgraded drag. Um, this is 50 pound Power Pro. And this is my, my lighter frog ride, like Slither K's, quarters, um, three eight ounce frogs. This is gonna be just uh, open water frogging. If you're not around heavy grass or heavy mats or heavy pads, um, I, I typically use this more open water skipping around docks. Um, around here, we don't have a lot of grass uh, per se, so we have a lot of docks, a lot of cover, um, you know, lay downs and stuff like that. I will go with this combo right here. A little bit softer tip. Um, the nice thing is with that soft tip, it allows you to skip, allows you to load up that lighter frog instead of going to like a heavier rod. <clears throat> so it's a little more versatile. This is a great all around frog rod. It's just a little underpowered if you're throwing like the bigger gavachos, the six cents frog, the vega frogs. Um, it still does it just fine, but if you're around heavy cover, I tend to go to a, a heavier power rod. Um, but this is such an excellent all-around uh, combo. I also use this rod as my Texas rig beavers, flipping and pitching with a different reel. Um, so if this is out of commission, then I go to <clears throat> uh, this rod right here, which does not exist. This was a prototype. This is a five power. This is the old, I mean, this is probably, man, maybe 10 years old. What used to be called the Zeta, which never came out. <clears throat> we branded it as the, uh, the champion, so nobody know what prototypes we're using. I would say this is a 755. Um, I would say this is probably a four and a half power. So it's not quite a five power. It's not a four power. It's just a smidge under. I've been using this on a ton. This, this rod is incredible. Um, it's super, super light. It is pretty much what now is the Ecstasy series. <clears throat> so it is a very fun frogging rod. I've been throwing the Slither Case on this a lot. Um, the, the, the Jackal Karas, Slither Case. Um, it's pretty much what I throw on this rod. It walks really well. It loads really well, it skips really well, um, and it's got enough power to get it away from the cover. It's just a little bit softer tip and a little bit softer backbone to it compared to like the, the 35. <laughs> that rod's awesome. I've also got another one. The next one is <clears throat> my main frogging rod just because I toss bigger frogs. I also like to fish some really heavy cover, especially when I go up north. Um, and some of the stuff we fish down south as well. This is the Dobbins Champion 736 full handle. <clears throat> this is rated 15 to 30 pound, 3 eighths to 2 ounce, heavy, fast action. Uh, this is a Daiwa Zillion HLC. <clears throat> I have upgraded the gears to 7.3 to 1. I've upgraded the drag, upgraded the carbon handle. I've also custom painted both of these because I was bored. Um, this is also a 65 pound Seaguar Smackdown. I've been using this line for a couple years and it has been fantastic. 
I haven't had really any issues with it breaking, fraying, um, getting destroyed. So I will keep it on for at least another season or two just because braid you can go for a couple years and not have any issues. Um, but this is my main combo. It is an absolute broomstick with a soft tip. So you can get the baits undercover, skipping, docks, all that kind of stuff. We do a lot of skipping on overhangs and stuff, you know, trees, bushes, and I can fire the baits right under these bushes and in through the bushes and have plenty of power getting the uh, the fish out. I've caught fish up to seven and I've caught seven pounders, eight pounders down in Texas, nines um, with this combo and it's phenomenal around like lily pads and stuff like Lake Fork. Um, and then when we go up north, you're throwing around a lot of that grass, a lot of um, lily pads, the heavy matted stuff. So this is my go-to frog rod, unless I want to drop down and then I go to more of the open water stuff, the 735 and the, uh, the non-existent rod. But this is the two main frog rods that I use, and I, I honestly think these are the two of the best um, frog rods out. They're just super well balanced. They're tons of power, soft tip, just a great all around rod. Um, you know, it for that, the 735 is a great all around rod. This one is just a meat stick for throwing big, big worms as well, big jigs, um, swim baits. But these, these two right here are awesome. I know a lot of guys use like the DX745s and 746 and all that stuff. And honestly, I just don't think it warrants the extra 100 bucks to go to a DX to throw a frog. And even like the Sierra 735, um, that is an awesome rod. I think the Caden, if they're going to come out, I think they got a Caden 735C maybe. If that comes out, that's going to be an awesome frog rod as well. I just want that six power because of all the heavy cover that we're throwing into and we're catching some big fish on it. So that's it guys. Smash that thumbs up. Appreciate you. I know I've been, I've been pumping videos out. I've got three more scheduled. I've got this one coming out. So I'm going to just try and do as many videos as I possibly can. Um, going to do some more you know, ride videos and stuff. But Smash the thumbs up, guys. I appreciate it. Subscribe, share it. Um, have a good one. We'll talk to you guys later.